Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video demo, I would like to show how we can perform a parametric law of a circle with a rectangular curve. Okay, let's start. By the way, this demo is based on the request of certain viewers of this channel. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is to put two curve node okay and then associate them to the respective curves in the Rhino viewport okay okay now let's try to see whether we can perform a lot of these two curves okay using the loft component okay Pressing and holding the shift key, let's connect this to the same curve input. Okay, and as you can see on screen, the result is uh, less than desirable. There's an obvious twist over here. Okay, let's see whether we can improve the situation by adding a loft option. Okay, and then set the adjust to true. Okay, the result seems to be a bit better. However, it's still not perfect. As you can see, the surface are not evenly created. Okay, so let's discard this way of uh, doing things. I'm going to delete these components. And then let's try something new. What I'm going to do is to break the circle and uh, rectangular curve into four segments and then create four loft surfaces okay to get our result okay so let's start by creating the the breaking locations of this circle we can do so by putting in the divide curve component and set the count here to four i'm going to put a panel and key in four and connect this to the count. Okay. Okay, so you can see that um I have like uh four breaking points, okay. And let's break this uh rectangular curve as well. We can do that by using the explode component, okay. Okay, so uh, this curve is have been broken into four segments using the explode. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I want to like create like loft surfaces, but you can see that um the segments here are not well aligned. Okay, I want let's say for example I want to loft this, I will want the segment to be around here. Okay, but however what we're having is our uh, segments they are like uh rotated. 45 degrees from the desired um, orientation. So what I'm going to do is rotate this uh, curve, okay? And I can do so by adding a rotate 3D component, okay? And connect this curve to the geometry input. <coughs> the angle, let's set it to degree. And I'm going to put a panel. And key 45 and connect this to here, okay? Okay. As for the center, um, let's find the center of the circle. We can do so by using an area component with a centroid output, okay? So I can connect this. And the centroid will be our center. Okay, so connect this here. Okay. And the geometry, let's um, connect that, that, that rotated geometry to the divide curve. Okay. And you can see that the cutting points has been rotated 45 degrees. Great.
Okay. The next thing that we need to do is to plot the individual uh, sections. Okay. To do that, what I'm going to do is um, use something different. Okay. I'm not going to use the surface north. Okay. Instead, I want to use the root surface. Okay. Okay, root surface allow us to create a loft surface using a curve A and a curve B, okay? Okay, what I'm going to do next is to ensure that I'm selecting the correct segment to be um, matched to a corresponding one on the other curve, okay? And to do that, we can use the list item. Okay, since we have four segments, we can set the index to uh, 0 to 3. Okay, so putting a slider 0 to 3. Okay, let's connect this slider to the index input. Okay, and I'm going to make another duplicate of this set of things. Okay, so pressing and holding the alt key can make a duplicate. And let's connect this to this. Connect the divide curve. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, for for this uh, divide curve, uh, I need to add another component over here that will actually do the the splitting. Okay, and that component is a shatter. So I'm going to type shatter. Okay, and then connect the rotated curve okay, to the curve input of the shatter and then the parameters of the divider curve into the parameter input of the shatter. Okay, so something like that. Yeah. So that we have uh, broken this curve into four segments. Okay, and I'm going to connect this to this. Okay. Now let's um, set this to this segment over here. Okay, we can do so by adjusting this slider until we get this segment. Okay, I want this segment to match to this segment. So you can see, uh, if I select this, we got this, and we select this, we got this. So, um, yep. We can do our uh, first surface by connecting this item to curve A and this corresponding item to curve B. Yeah, so we got our first surface over here. And we need to repeat the process until we get all the other surfaces. And I reckon the, the best way and the fastest way to do that is to duplicate this um, set okay let's group this first okay and then make um, three more things, okay pressing and holding the alt key One more, one more copy. Okay, something like that. Okay, and then we simply need to use the number slider to select a new set of a uh, segment. Okay, so select this and this. okay. So this is what I want, and then I want this. Okay. Okay, yep, so we, we, we got this and let's move on to the other set. Okay, we got this, okay. 
and let's do the last surface okay okay we got this now we need this okay okay we got it okay now to make our uh, life easier let's join these four surface using the b wrap join okay wrap join pressing and holding the shift key I'm joining the four surfaces using the b wrap join okay and now let's um, do a preview let me hide the preview for the rest you're off yeah so you can see we got our final surface okay and if I were to move the original curves the surfaces will correspondingly be updated okay yeah okay maybe let me open up this bigger so that you can have a full view of the definition okay with that i come to the end of this um demo that's been useful see you around bye